Welcome to today's 3D print. I got a cool print for you. You guys remember this? This is, um, oh by the way, we're going to be doing largely single prints from now on, unless there's enough time. Maybe I could toss in a small print here or there. So the mega print episode will be basically a mega print, either mega in detail or mega in size or complexity. We're gonna have fun with it though. And um, to compensate for the people who like the longer format, I'm just gonna release more. <laughs> so you just put three episodes together and you got your longer format. Yeah. Um, this way, best of both worlds. You get the, the more content that you want from the longer episode, but I also get the shorter videos that get better retention and better feedback from my users. You guys remember this? When I printed DG Aquaticus on the Ender 2? One of the nicest prints I've made on that printer. The quality, and this is at 0.2 millimeters. This is not at 0.1 millimeters or anything like that. This is at 0.2. Incredible. And this is that um, $10 a kilogram rep wrap guru film that, that we grabbed on that deal that I found that one day. Oh God, I hope he gets that stuff on sale again because I will buy the crap out of this stuff. It prints very well. Well, I got a new filament. I'm going to be showing you sample prints of that. Actually, we're very early on time. Let's do it. It's from a company called Paramount. And I noticed that when I was looking for my Voyager, I got the gray Paramount filament for Voyager. It matched very closely to what the um, ships were actually colored in the series. So it was a good ship gray. And I noticed they had a lot of other cool filaments. I have a whole sample box that I bought from them. It's like 40 bucks and you get a sample of all their colors. I'm going to be making tons of prints with those samples because they're very cool. Sadly, not all of them are available on Amazon. I hope they're going to change that because I want more of these. The first one I got was Decepticon Purple. So here is the rocket that I always print. Fabulous. The little Marvin. And make sure that's in focus. Very nice little Marvin. Oop. And the Benji. Very, very nice Benji. Now this filament's interesting because it changes color depending on what temperature you use. You get this matte finish when you print this at 200 degrees. But if you print it at a higher temperature, you get a shiny finish. So this is printed at 225. Isn't that nice? I love that color. I hope that's coming out. Sometimes I can't tell on the video how good it's coming out on the screen, just the tiny screen. Beautiful, beautiful finish. This was printed on the CR-10S. You can see how beautiful the layer alignment is. Very, very clean print. I am extremely happy with my CR-10S. Very, very clean prints and shockingly low noise for such a large printer. I slowed down, of course, to do it. Like this took six hours and this took 18 hours. Um, this is all one piece. It's a, it's a thin can for a rocket. So you'll put a paper tube in here and rocket engine there. So that's the company Paramount. Well, they have another filament that I grabbed at the same time um, to allow me to get the faster shipping by getting over $35. These are 25 bucks a roll. Um, it's called Iron Red and it is glorious. I mean, I don't know what it is about this. You might not even be able to see this on the video. I don't know if you're going to, because last night I took a picture of the Benchy and put it on Instagram and Twitter, and it took me like 20 minutes to get a proper picture, because camera sensors tend to blow up the um, reds. Most of our camera sensors tend to blow out the reds a little bit, so reds look too red. Um, Samsung especially does that a lot, and but most cameras, or I'm sorry, Sony's, Sony's really blow out the reds. Like you take a picture of the Sony camera, it's just, the reds just pop. And the problem is, this is a subtle red, so when it pops, you lose that beautiful subtleness. But here is the standard rocket that I always print. These are my three standard benchmark prints that I use. The rocket is to show you vase and to show you um, um, nice, clean, smooth surfaces. Then, of course, you have the Benchy. Very clean Benchy. Again, printed on the CR-10S. Extremely clean Benchy. It's the best Benchy I've ever gotten off a of CR-10. I don't know if the camera can focus clean enough, but if you look at the anchor hull, there is noise. There is some ghosting, but very little. I mean, this is, I'd say, 90% ender quality. I'm impressed. And that was not a slow print. 
it took three hours and 46 minutes to print all three. So about an hour and 20, hour and 25 minutes to do the Benji. Then of course you have the Marvin. Actually that color is looking pretty good on the small LCD screen so this might actually be representative of what the color actually is. I'll know better when I play the video back and I'll add a, a note in the description whether it matches what I consider to be the color in real life. So, back to the beginning of the video. Remember that 5 minutes and 26 seconds ago? DG Aquaticus. I was trying to figure out what do I print this little critter in when I make them bigger. I was like, that iron red is cool. That would make a cool dragon. And yes, it did make a cool dragon. <laughs> oh, that dragon is so cool! No infill. So there's a couple itty bitty gaps here in the webbing and stuff like that. Otherwise, perfect. Three perimeters. Printed at 200 degrees. 225 first layer, 200 after that. 50 millimeter a second print speed with reductions where necessary. Look at that color. Look at that finish. I mean, it's not perfect. There's little areas that could use a little help, but whew, I'd be more than happy to show this off to anybody. Beautiful first layer. No issues whatsoever. Look at that. You, you can get a little shine from the light. I have a light right here next to the camera to help me light up the objects I'll show you. Look at the finish on that. I love this dragon. It's got some things I'd like to fix, but nothing serious. I mean... Even the head came out nice. That top part, there we go. Look at that. I love this dragon so much. I love dragons. I love cool looking, no support needed, low or no infill needed prints. These are my favorites. Especially no supports. I can handle infill, but I hate supports. I'll avoid a print if it needs supports. Here's his tail. Man, he came out good. I love this dragon. Let's do the scale up. This is as big as I can get him. Oh, I broke him. Oh, no. Oh, well. I broke the dragon. So here's the scale up from Ender 2 size to CR 10 size. <laughs> That's incredible. The scale difference is amazing. Very light. I think it took... Um, was it 0.6 pounds or something like that? It was very little plastic. He screwed up. I didn't write down my notes, so I wasn't prepared with the scale. I'm working on it. I should have this out and ready. This is something people are asking for. He is 270 grams, 269.2 grams. So light on the plastic usage. I still got tons of plastic left on the roll, more than three quarters of the roll left. After printing him, and after printing my sample prints, and after printing. CR10 Ultimate Print Knobs in the Iron Red. I love this color. It's one of my favorite uh, matte finish colors. I really, really like this color. I will be buying another roll of this. This is from Paramount. And they have all kinds of cool colors. I'm looking to get the Autobot Blue and the English Racing Green or British Racing Green next. Those colors look really slick. There you go. How about a sneak peek for my next video? Huh? Huh? A little sneak peek? Huh? That's it? That's all you're getting. <laughs> you're gonna like that. But this is beautiful. Let me show you my sample prints again. Here is the ultimate leveling knob for the CR10 printed in the iron gray. The Benchy. Beautiful, beautiful Benchy. And the Vern style rocket. I have an idea to make these fly. I'll put a little weight in the nose and I'll make a little compressed air gun and just slide on the compressed air gun and launch them. So I can actually fly my little rockets. And then a little Marvin. Very, very impressive. These are all printed on the CR10S. I'm very impressed with the CR10S. It's doing an excellent job. And the Decepticon Blue, if you want to see that color again. Very nice. That's it. Thank you for watching this uh, mega printisode. 
Stay tuned for the next one.